Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to share with you how to make this patio chair really quickly with the Rhino 7 SubD tool. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before we started, I have a few points that I want to point out about this SubD tutorial. And first of all, I want to point out how to make the edge as a little bit sharper only on one side. As you can see uh, on the render view, you have a little bit sharper edge compared to the bottom and how to having this hole coming up and how to arrange the symmetrical look. So that's starting from the scratch. We are going to use the SubD tool to make a box first. SubD only with the Rhino 7, if you are in the older version, you might want to try to download the T-Smile instead. So I'm going to draw whatever size and hold in my shift and click on it. Notice that my XY count is 4 and the Z count is 3 on my command bar. So you're going to see something like this. All right. So it's pretty flat there. We wanted to make sure that somebody will sit in it comfortably. So I'm going to pick up the sub D selection for vertex. And let's go ahead to moving those three down a little bit more and also moving those two down a little bit more. So you get something like that something like that is it's kind of giving a general curve i also like to make the middle part is a little bit lower so i'm going to click on this point this point this point and all nine point actually right here and kind of make them a bit thinner all right so that is in the middle and if you like my maybe um if you are the furniture designer you might know a little bit better i'm just trying to guess a little bit here i want to make those two part a bit lower so it's like more comfortable for the fee or the lake to to be there all right so you can kind of play with it uh, to find what the shape that you like is kind of like a toning into the way that you like now, if you take a look on this edge right here, I'm going to pick up the edge all the way around by holding the shift key and double click on the edge right there. If you move it up more close to the faces, you're going to notice this piece getting a little bit sharper. And the same way, if you select all those curves around, for example, something like this, double click on the neighbor, holding the shift, and then you kind of a 1D scale it out more close to the edge. That way you can, you can kind of uh, make them uh, sharper or stick it out a little bit. So the more you have the edge close together on the turn, that you're going to get the sharper look. All right, so that's it. This is the C we wanted. I mean, you can fine tune it if you want to. For example, you can have those go even a little bit lower. So on the side, it will look like they are on that direction as well. So I'm not gonna fine tune it too much. Just wanna show you the rest of the stuff and you can play with it later. All right, so that's it. This is the C that we have. Now we need to deal with the lake. I'm going to have this one, pick on the face on this one and this one. And I basically going to extrude them. You're going to extrude it once, you're going to extrude it twice, and you're going to extrude it three times. All right. So if the leg is a little bit too fat for you, I mean, you can fine tune it and also manipulate it in the way that you like. So for example, I want the leg going a, a bit more like this and this leg right here going scale it down more like this even though they are not the same high that that's okay we can fix it later um, but you kind of need to play with it and uh, maybe sometime you need to tilt it them and move it back a little bit so this is how you can play with the leg um, to do the design that you like. Notice that I only work on one side because I can kind of just mirror to the other side. Uh, if you feel like this arc is too much, you can also pick up these edges and with these edges and we can kind of moving up so the arc is not that much. All right, so you can kind of play with it to find the best that you like. I may also want to pick up all the faces right there, turn a little bit, moving to the side and if that worked for you, all right? So there's a certain degree that you wanted to have the leg to spread it out, or if it is spread it out too much and you might want to adjust it. Okay, so maybe like that one is too much right there. 
Okay. All right. So how do we make the bottom is kind of a line? I do not like the bottom to be so rounded. So the way to fix it is you wanted to insert a sub D loop. Let's say this is a loop right here, and I want to insert one of the loop in there. Uh, you can choose on one side only instead of both sides. So you can see the bottom is a little bit flat there, and I'm going to move it down. It's a little bit flat there. Okay. If you turn on the box mode, you're going to see something like this. Notice that the leg on the bottom is not aligned. So I basically wanted to do is to pick up all the vertex there. And as you can see, I'm going to pick up those two points, and I'm also going to pick up those two points right there. Okay, so on my gumball, there's a 1D scale tool on my right view, you can see. And what I wanted to do is I want to click on this blue one on the scale and just type it zero. So then that way they can all align to the bottom. As you can see, something like that. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pick up those. You're going to pick up those. And you want to align to the bottom like this. All right, so now you have a, both of them aligned. As you can see, I have something look like this. I'm going to pick up all four point and all four point right here. And as you can see, um, my top view, they are not the same high. So I'm going to do it one more time, align to the zero and bring down just a little bit. And then you can see they are completely flat there. All right, if you turn it back to the smooth mode, then that this is what you're going to see. All right. So now we have finished one side. I mean, you can fine tune it to make it into um, the shape that you like. But what we like to do is make this chair into the other two legs. But what we like to do is make the leg to the other side. All right. So what we wanted to do is pick up our sub D, the whole thing. And we're going to use the command for the reflect. With the reflect tool, it's going to ask you what is the reflection plane, and we want to make sure it's selecting Y on my top view. And then it will say which one you want to reflect. We actually need to flip on that side. So then our lake will come into the other side, as you can see. Now the white is going to be the one that you are going to continue manipulate it, and the darker one will follow. So let's say I'm going to pick up the faces right here, and I'm going to extrude it once. As you can see, the other side extrude it as well, extrude it twice. And we're going to extrude it three times and the four times. All right. So you then you got something like this. Now, how are we going to close and making a surface or the part in the middle is we are going to use the bridge command. I'm going to bridge on both sides and both sides need to have an equal element. So that's say I'm going to pick up this faces and this faces, hit enter. And then I'm going to pick up these faces and these faces, hit enter. Then they will connect it. Once it's connected, you can choose the segment inside. If I increasing the segment, then you can see something is going to be like this. And let's click OK. Once you have the basic, then you can pick up all these faces one more time. And on my top view, maybe this is way too thick. So I'm going to 1D scale it down and bring back something like this. And maybe on these faces, all the faces right in the middle. So I'm going to pick it up from this view. And this kind of coming out a little bit even more. All right, so that's how you're going to get the shape. I mean, you can fine tune it to make it look nicer, but this is how you can play with the sub D to get the shape like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a whole playlist for the sub D and a course for the sub D to teach you from the very beginning, step by step. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next.